There we go. Just pour it all on top. All right. Tell me, will you really, really, really think it's more lyrical? Because every time I go somebody gotta see the manacle, and every time I come, I'm eating everything that's edible. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moss. As you already know, I cook on this on this channel. Now, on the list or on the menu, rather, today I've got. Uh, it's gonna be. I'm, I can't forget my words. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I'm gonna be making you guys chilo kebab. It's it's the famous Persian food. It's basically some kebab with rice and some. Uh, tomato, uh, tomatoes. Yeah, um, I'll show you what I mean. But before we get started, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Mostasifar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like Mostasifar, as well. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. So, the ingredients that we've got is I've got one large onion, diced it up already, not uh, uh, grated it. Sorry, didn't want to show that part. I was crying. It was painful. Don't want to see that. I've got two, well I've got a kilo of meat, beef, and I've got two eggs. And um, what you want to do is get these in there, get rid of that, okay. And then, same thing again, get rid of that, okay. And what you want to do, let's just see how it is, let's see if it's, Let's just uh, divide it up a little bit. See how we do. Are we all good? Look at that, lovely. Yep, yeah, we're good. Okay, that's divided. Now, what you want to do, get your onion. Okay, never mind. Put it all in there, right? One egg. Two eggs. I mean, one is enough if you got it, but we got loads of eggs, so we want to use them up. Uh, then you want to put a pinch of salt. Yeah, a pinch. All right. You want to put some pepper in there. Spinning from the sides. Okay. And then a little bit of turmeric. enough and of course you're gonna put some saffron in there okay all you want to do now is mix it basically when you put in the egg oh, I'm sorry about that a bit of mess everywhere today not organized um, when you put the eggs in there it helps it to stick together okay so now that it is pretty much done, we're pretty much done mixing it. What I'm gonna do is just make all the bits stick together. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a foil on this. Not foil actually, cleaning foam, sorry. I'm gonna put some cleaning foam on this, put it in the fridge. Give it about half an hour, let it cool down, and then we'll bring it out, put it in the baking tray, and I'll show you what's next. Right. Whilst we wait for the meat to stay go in the fridge and cool down or whatever, we're gonna make some salad. We've got some lettuce, cucumber, and tomatoes. Here we go. Get one, chop it down the middle, right? Don't need all of that. That can sit here. We'll dice up a little bit, chop it up. See how it goes. If we need any more, we add some more. If we don't need any more, we're not gonna add some more. Get it? Done. So, there's that. Goes in there, and goes in there. Hands are clean, guys. Hands are clean. Make sure, no joke. Put it in there, empty this bit out, clean it up, get rid of that. Where is it? Done. That's the first bit done. What you want to do next? Tomatoes. Get these bits out. Okay. Off you go. See you there, mate. Next one. Chop, 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 chop. Be careful with your fingers. Off you go. 
Right. Off you go. And the last one. In there, right? Chop it up. Just small pieces, whatever you want. It can be chunk, um, like a chunky bit, it doesn't matter. Just whatever you like, you know, is um, whatever you prefer, really. It doesn't have to be small pieces, just... Oh my god, my, my knife is so blunt! Who knows how to sharpen knives? Someone comment below or share me a link how to do it and I might do a little quick how-to or a couple of hacks or whatever. It needs to be done, I think. There's that. There's that, there you go. Nice and simple. Oh my god, this is, this is embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. Why is my knife so blunt? Done. Quick and easy, right? So far, so good, right? Get that in there. It's like you got to stab the tomato for it to, to get sliced. So, so bad. Right, there you go. Moving on. Moving on. Be careful with your fingers, guys. Uh, last one. There you go. Done. Get it in there. Okay. Right. Now this bit. Don't like that. Get rid of that. What are you gonna do? You wanna make a mess again, don't you? Peel off the skin. Done. Uh, I'm a little bit picky. Done. Right. Leave that there. What are you wanna do? Slice it down the middle. Okay, okay, now chop away. Okay, beautiful, amazing. Next one, this one we'll try and really chop it on. Is that better guys? Okay, see? Just like so, okay? That one worked, alright? No, no one saw this. I don't know about this one. Alright. Okay, now that is done, you just pour it in there, like so, okay, that's that, bring that in here, get rid of that, now if you hold on a moment, I'm going to make the sauce, because this is kind of dry, so what we need is sauce to put it in there, spice it up, bring it to life, give me a minute, I'll be back, what you want to do, give yourself a big cup, right, you want to make the sauce, for the salad to make it nice and juicy and tasty and yummy, right? Here we go. What you wanna do? One, one spoon, two spoon. Make it three spoons, all right? Leave it as that, move over. You wanna get some pepper. Come on. Pepper, bit of salt, okay? Bit of Olive oil. Okay. And you want some lime juice. Look at that. Now, all you want to do is mix it. You want to mix it and hopefully make it all runny. Or make I'm using quite thick, um, what do you call it, yogurt, so it's a little bit different. You may need to add some more lime juice to it and olive oil, of course. Splashing everywhere. Right, we're going to add some more, Just a little bit more olive oil. Okay, but a lot more of this. Because we need more. Not doing it. Not doing it. If it's not doing it, you ain't doing it right. Something's wrong. Right? There you go. That's a lot better. Alright? That is amazing. What you want to do? Do a dip and a little taste. 
don't do that guys by the way don't use a knife and stick it in your mouth I'm I'm crazy so yeah I want to add some more pepper to it okay and a tiny pinch of salt okay let that do its thing mix it up This is, this is the stuff. Look at that. Yeah, man. Mix it up. Mix, 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 mix. Look at that. That's what you want. Can you see that, guys? Give it a final taste. Make sure it's good. Yummy. Um, because I'm going to put this in the fridge for now because our food isn't ready. But what I'm going to do, when you want to serve it, you're gonna mix the sauce onto the salad and then you serve it. The, re the only reason why I don't wanna mix it right now and put it in the fridge is because all the salad will go soggy. So keep it separate for now. When it's ready to be served, mix it, present it, happy day. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. Got our, got our meat out of the fridge right here. I've chopped some more uh, tomatoes. Tomatoes. I really always mix these up, I hate that. Tomatoes, chop them up, but that's for later. What I'm gonna do is just put a tiny bit of oil in our pan. Okay, a little bit more. Just so it doesn't stick. And all you wanna do is mix it about, move it about, whatever. Right, do your thing, do your meat. And then just dig it out. Gently, so it doesn't splash, hopefully. All out. Get rid of that. Don't need it. Use the space. Now, here's what you want to do. You want to flatten it out, and also you want to pattern it out, right? You want it to be nice and thin. If it's thick, it's not going to cook properly, it's not going to be well. The the whole idea is, you're supposed to, well, it's probably easier for you to use your hands, but as you know, I'm very fussy like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing none of that. I can use my hand. Look at this, it's like a giant, huge burger, but it's not, it's kebab. So don't get excited. Don't be looking out here for no burger. This ain't no burger tonight. All right? Okay, so. That's what it looks like, okay? You can always do better by doing the corners properly in that. I'm not going into so much detail. What you want to do, oh, I should have put this on preheat. Put it on, I'm going to heat up. You want it at 180, give it 10 minutes for it to heat up. Meanwhile, is it in the camera properly? Let me, is that any better for you guys? Can you guys can see? All right, all I'm going to do is divide it now. Go one right in the middle. Okay. You want to do this before you put it in the oven so it actually divides. Because if you put it in there and it's a whole one, then it'll be a lot more difficult. The other corners, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Two other sides are thick. Oh well. I'm just going to put that on the side bit there. You want to cover it up. Ooh. That's that, right? Cover it up. Okay. Get rid of that. I don't need it. Just cover it up simply like so. Let it go in the oven. Give it a good 20 minutes, 15 20 minutes before it comes out. I'm gonna take this away. I think that it's like really flashing the screen. Put it in the oven 20 minutes, we'll come back, check up on it, see how it is. Right, guys, for the time being, I'm just gonna put the rice in there, right? Let that be, and then all you want to do, this is hot already, okay. Just put some water in there. 
That's all I'm gonna do. Put some water in there, no problem. Right? Let it be. This is gonna go on. Where is it? Let this go for 10 minutes. We're gonna semi cook the rice and then we're gonna drain it and then we're gonna make some yummy tadik. Guys, quick update. Um, I'm semi cooking the rice. I'm gonna check on our kebab, see how we're doing. Just gonna bring it out and let's see how far or how good we are at what we're doing. Guys, I can honestly say it smells amazing right now. Here in the kitchen. Oh my god. Let's see how we do it. Yeah, it's coming semi cooked. Look at that. See that, guys? Right. Now, you see the tomatoes I was telling you about? So, we're gonna go here. We can actually flip them, flip them over. Let it go everywhere. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's all good. What you want to do? Get your foil again. Put it back. Let me get a little quick check up. That's all it is. And then. Hot, so we've got to be careful. Open the oven. And then we're just going to put it back in there. Done. Let that go on for another half an hour or so. Come back and check on it. What you want to do, bring this to a boil. When you see it bubbly bubbly, you want to empty out the water, drain it. And then I'll show you what we're going to do in the next step. Okay, so. As you can see here, I don't know if you can see with the steam and all of that, uh, the um, sorry about that. The rice has come to a boil, so all I'm going to do, where is it? I'm going to switch it off. I'm going to drain it, and then I'll show you what the next step is. A little bit of olive oil, right? Like so, maybe a little bit more. Okay. You're gonna add a tiny bit of water. Okay. Then you wanna add some saffron. But try and spread it. Okay, done. That's it. And now, all you're gonna do is wiggle it about. Mix it about, just like so, right, put it here, oh crap, you drain the rice, pour it in, right, where is Then all you want to do, just so it doesn't become dry, a little bit of oil, not too much, just a tiny bit, there you go, right, you want to put it in here, turn, it, turn the heat back on, but on low, right, leave it on low, and you want to use one of these to or well, maybe double actually, even as it was, if it fits. That's the lid, cover up like so. Um, put that on there, happy days. Okay guys, as this is cooking up slowly, the rice, and as our meat, our kebab is in the oven, it's getting done, you wanna to start to make this ready. I think roughly about 10 minutes or so, everything's gonna to come together, and then we're gonna be ready to eat. So making the salad ready is a good time now. It's fine, it's not a problem. Oops. Mm. That is yummy, that's a yummy sauce. All you want to do is it 
here guys, I just want to make sure I get this so I put it here. There you go. I think that's better, right? Right, what you want to do, I'm going to put that here. But, there we go. Just pour it all on top. Alright. Don't be shy with it. Dig out the rest of it. I'm not going to let any of that go to waste. Any of that yummy sauce, homemade sauce, yogurt. Now, I make this with yogurt, but there are people who make it with uh, mayonnaise as well. Obviously, it tastes a lot better with mayonnaise, but it is more fattening. So, hence why I did chose to go with um, yogurt. And all you want to do is just gently mix it. Just make sure it doesn't splash everywhere and make a mess or whatever. And yeah. Get a sauce going to go in between all the lettuce, all the tomatoes, all the cucumbers. There you are. That's it. A nice simple salad. That's that. All I'm going to do now is put this back in the fridge. Yes, for those of you, I did have a foil on top. Let me just turn this off. What it was, I had a foil on top. Uh, I removed it, some bits were just left like that. So I just removed the foil and I carved the, the, the bits again, just like what I'm about to do now in some stages. But there we are, that is your kebab. Right? It's nice already. I thought it would shrink a lot more than that, but it's not too bad actually. Uh, yeah, there's that. All I'm going to do is, let me just quickly finish this bit off. There we are. Put it down the middle. Happy days. All I need to do now is, I'm going to turn this off. All right? So our rice is ready. All right, guys. I do apologize. The tadik didn't come out, didn't work out. Maybe another time. But here is your chili kebab. Could be there. Bon appetit, guys. Enjoy. And um, see you in the next video, guys. Tell me, would you really, really, really think it's more lyrical? Because every time I go somebody gotta see the manacle, and every time I come.